know this is Magaya version 11. We got highlights, tips, and tricks. We're going to show you a lot of things of what we've been up to. Now, it's been a big release. We've waited this for a long time. So you're going to see a lot of the basic changes that you say, wow, we've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for it ourselves. So we're, we're excited for you to be here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, here's Chris. All right, next slide. Yes, so we are calling this one the Magaya ecosystem, and not just this one, but basically what we have built over the past 17 years. We will talk more about that later. Great, so here we are. Uh, this is Christian Lillimetz, right? Absolutely, Our yes. product manager, he handles everything that has to do with what comes out and what you get to use. I, myself, Jose Barahona, the general sales manager is the one who's in charge of helping you acquire the software and understand that, hey, we can make it better. This is one of the releases where we're going to take a lot of your feedback and be able to do that. I promise you we're much better looking in person, but those are the pictures we got for marketing. Well, they can see us. Oh, they can. Yeah, there's, right. there's a, there's a camera. You're on camera. I yeah. hope so. I look better. Great. Okay. Um, just a couple of technical tips, by the way. Uh, if you have any questions during this webinar, there is a questions section in your GoToWebinar uh, panel, which is presumably on your right-hand side. Uh, you can type them in anytime. We have a Q&A in the end where we try to answer all of them. Also, we have um, Victoria uh, from our team that's going to maybe answer a few of them already during the webinar and who's going to show some links in the chat box that's also on your right um, where we are talking about, let's say, new web uh, future. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, nice and interactive. So this is just uh, some, some technical notes here. All right, so then um, let's just keep going. Let's talk about the agenda. Yes, the agenda, Jose. So the agenda today is really having a look at, at the product itself uh, to the ecosystem. You've all been using Magaya. Uh, you know how to use it, but now we're going to introduce something that's completely new in a way to being able to not just change the way you work, but the way you communicate, the way you work around the system. So we're going to give you the highlights of Magai 11. This is extremely, extremely important because it's going to change the way we connect to other systems, not just, yeah, I use Magai, I use somebody else, being able to help you uh, in whatever market you are. You have to remember, some of you may be in the United States, but Magai is used in over 70 countries. So we have an opportunity to connect to all these countries using our ecosystem. And we're going to actually have a hands-on practical tips on some of the new stuff, now, the ones that are more exciting, right, Chris? Those yes, ones uh, we have about 20 pages of new stuff, so we're going to try to be very short today yeah. and uh, just cover really the highlights, a couple of hands-on things, and uh, talk about the near, mid, and long-term future plans we have. Beautiful. All right, so from product to ecosystem, what we mean by it, as you may or may not have seen in uh, our uh, campaign materials like we've sent emails we have a nice landing page and we made videos uh, just to really uh, communicate the idea that we are ahead of the pack when it comes to technology what started as one kind of monolithic windows desktop application uh, magaya 17 years ago Culminating with with version 11, it has it has now become an entire suite, an entire ecosystem of connected technologies. Uh, what we did, and it took us almost a year to build this version, is, is we introduced um, new communication infrastructure in the backend, and that will uh, that has resulted in vast uh, improvements of speed, also in stability, and we have actually been able to use new technologies that were not talking to our um, software backend before, and now we have been able to use them to build new and beautiful mobile apps, desktop apps, which we call extensions, I will share about later, and even um, improve the speed drastically of our uh, flagship web app, LifeTrack. So what he means by that is uh, we're making it faster, make it easier for you to use, and we want you to be connected overall. Yes, so here's a quote from, uh, uh, from uh, me, which is we may have we may as well have called it Nagaya too. It is uh, the biggest release we've had to date, actually. 
Uh, so just a little takeaway here again, why it's important to you, why you should care about the bunch of tech talk. Well, you should know that your technology partner is in step with industry changes, that we're not some you know, old dinosaur system like some of our competitors that we obviously won't name by name. Um, I can give you a couple. No, no, no. <laughs> um, and that we have new apps in a more microservices oriented infrastructure. We don't have to open up our main database for everybody. We have ways for you to build your own extensions to it now. Um, and this will just keep growing and growing. And the point is that that helps you to meet your customers' expectations, really. Uh, in, in today's world. All right, a few highlights. Sure. Basically, you know what? We have all these apps. Everything happens on the phone. You know it, you do it, you ask for it. You say, hey, can my clients do this? Can my clients do that? Can they go here with the phone? Well, we're gonna show you two specific app-related uh, add-ons for this version 11. One's gonna be the live track, the other one's gonna be the binder. And let me tell you, it's amazing to see the opportunities that this is gonna show and allow you to be able to do the same work a lot faster, a lot more efficient. So that's the idea that we have. Now, with the binder is you're walking through the warehouse, being able to take some pictures, and I won't get too much into it because I do want Chris to show it to you. Okay. And we have a brand new live track that's from the ground up. I mean, new technology like Chris mentioned earlier for you to be able to give your clients that live track capability for them to go online and be able to do it. Again, not showing it today. Uh, there's another webinar coming. We'll, we'll promote that one. Um, we have the extensions, which is basically, if some of you have tried to build your own things um, with LaMagaya API, uh, there's now a much easier way and a much prettier way. We'll show a little slide actually uh, right as the next one. You have also now multiple languages in one right. software interface. We understand that mm -hmm. sometimes you may have different people working on your database that may speak English or may prefer Spanish. Before, we couldn't do that. It's a big limitation on, on database. But now we've been able to do it. Not only just English, Spanish, but also Portuguese. Yes. As well as documents. You're gonna see some beautiful documents. Yes. Again, we brought in a designer for the whole user experience. And you're gonna see some of that design in the documents and how they look compared to the ones that you're looking at to the ones that we're gonna show. And let me tell you, it's extremely exciting to see that. And finally, an improved rate flow system and freight management. A lot of the things that your, I guess your primary operations are always hey, I start with a quote, I need X, I need Y on it, can I do that? But we've been able to show that, and I, I think we're gonna show that today, Chris, a little bit of the rates. No. No? We yeah, have another webinar? Exactly. We're gonna keep Some coming of, back to the yes. webinars, people. This is how we work now. Uh, we, 11 is such a big release that we're actually having three webinars, uh, but we will introduce the next ones um, in this presentation as well. Beautiful. So this is an example of, of what I mentioned as extensions. What, what this means, um, something very practical. We built the first one ourselves. We expect that programmers can actually build your own soon. Uh, so to develop into a full app store by Magaya, where where you can build your own, share them with others. Of course, we will keep building them. So so what are these extensions? So imagine this one here is profiling a Canada Customs Compliance Document e manifest. So those of you filing um, there's a lot, a lot to manage from imagine if you just have a menu option that you can put in the system you can call and it pulls uh, read and write access way talks to your Magai in a poll which one would you like that's what you want to look at Okay. All right. Now it looks like we have some technical difficulties. I'm going to turn the web to see if we get a better. But we're we're breaking a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see if we're back on. Can you guys hear us? Let's have a look to see. We if can use can the questions or chat box to actually let me know how. The All right. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. We're going to have to turn off our webcam because it seems that the connection is a little bit slow with having the camera on. So again, you'll be able to hear us. Hopefully, you can still hear us, and we'll go and, uh, and move on. Oh, interesting. OK, so I'll do this. I'll stop and start sharing. Ah, the sharing stopped. OK, so and webcam off. Webcam is off. Right. Yes, that is the look. Got it. All right. Our well. A little bit. Okay, so we're good to go. So this um, this one was uh, just a brief brief uh, introduction to the new extensions technology, which is an easier, faster, and more beautiful way to add things onto your Magaya system. And the first one here is the Canada uh, e-manifest that we built to explain the concept. Okay, and so um, I, I'm, I've been told that the extensions part that uh, we were breaking uh, quite a bit. So uh, just a re quick recap of what they are. Um, they are third-party apps or apps built by Magaya that your Magaya system can launch. You can add a menu item to your Magaya and it can uh, launch an independent application that talks to your database, read and write, that is designed using web technologies. So it's uh, easier to develop and, and prettier and that is super fast and eventually we are foreseeing a Magaya app store containing a lot of those extensions for things like customs compliance, individual countries requirements for accounting, uh, maybe container tracking, beautiful dashboards, things like that. Okay, so let's move on. Um, oh, here's a fun fact. Um, we have 193 customers on version 11 already um, as of 3 a.m. today and no I was not up no actually we have a two we have 209 right now I, I checked so this is slide okay. is already outdated we have over 200 of you already um, early adopters of version 11 right and you actually have the opportunity to be able to online update the system already so if you yes. have any questions you can definitely get some instructions on how to do it and uh, we'll help you out and getting you up to the version 11 so let's talk about some of the more cool stuff regarding accounting. I've never said that in the same sentence, more cool stuff regarding accounting. But we have a credit memo and an invoice that's automatically tied. That's great. Um, we have a more uh, secure reconciliation. Some of you Let have given us some feedback. Oh, yes. really? Oh, yes. Go, go uh, as we get more and more into, into bigger customers with more enterprise-like requirements, security of accounting is important. And we, we are going to be fixing some some things that were, let's be honest, loopholes. Um, so for example, what we did for reconciliation in version 11, you will now only be able to delete the most or undo the most uh, recent reconciliation. So you can't go and mess up your past periods anymore. Uh, so things like that. We also have a uh, CSV import now to journal entry. Let me actually, I'll, I'll show my Magaya here. All right. Uh, so if you go to a journal entry, in your accounting gear. We have a new import button. Why this is great? It allows you to pull from a CSV file the, uh, the journal entry table here, the contents. So this is great for two reasons. Initial implementations, when you need to pull in your uh, trial balance to get your accounting started. And for those of you that do daily accounting in Magaya, payroll. So, so those long payroll transactions that you get from ADP or whatever, uh, they can now be imported here so you don't have to enter them uh, line by line anymore. So that is uh, important. 
next one, what we did in operations. So e-airway bill. We are complying to the new regulations by China Customs. A lot of our customers have been asking. Uh, I think we got the heads up in May that new regulations were live in on August or on June 1st. So we had to scramble to get it done, but we did. Um, those of you that don't file e-airway bills or don't export to China, this is uh, probably it sounds like Chinese too. <laughs> uh, very good. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jose. Um, and then uh, for the WMS part, uh, warehouse management and receiving, we are now decoding GS128 barcodes, which is again something that your vendors might be sending to you, where the barcode itself contains number of pieces and uh, expiration dates, lot numbers, and we can parse that accurately in your uh, warehouse receipt in Magaya. We have made some improvements to the CSV import. Uh, I will show you actually a little exercise later how you can now import pallets and boxes inside pallets into warehouse receipts instead of having to manually repack everything. We have introduced jobs, which some of you know uh, as a feature in, in our flagship supply chain system, uh, also to the Magaya cargo system. So you can now basically do project management, tie your project cargo together under a job also in um, the cargo system. And finally, we have a, a cool little thing to mention is that system alerts can now send emails to employees where there's a new task set for that employee, which, for example, if you're using a final mile application and the employee is a driver, it's good if they get an email pop up um, and in some other uh, scenarios as well. All right. So let's uh, let's do something interactive. Uh, let's open our first poll. OK, so we talked about extensions a little bit. Um, the question is, what extension should we build next? Okay, and uh, I launched it. We're going to run this for a minute or so. Uh, we have options here. Okay, so customs integrations. Why are customs integrations good? You know, everyone always asks, I am in Honduras, for example, and I need to have X, Y, and Z to be able to connect my system to this fiscal system. Yeah, so that's very important. So you may be outside the U.S. and this is important. So mm -hmm. we want to go ahead and have a look at what you have there. Yeah, then we have electronic invoice. So we know several countries for invoicing, you have you know government mandated number series and sequences and you have to uh, file your invoice electronic to the government. That is something that the extensions can do pretty easily, right? Um, Great, we have container tracking. This is also very important. All of you are moving your cargo through containers doing ocean very difficult not to and a lot of you are asking how can I get X Y and Z tracking sometimes mm -hmm. it's very difficult because those carriers don't have the technology that you do absolutely not. yeah and uh, by the way those that the, the two questions that mention is um, a specific country we see who is responding what so we'll contact you later uh, and get in contact and talk about what countries you'd actually prefer us to build specific integrations for or if you maybe have IT partners that want to build this uh, with you and just simply connect it to Magaya. And then we have uh, dashboards and reports. Uh, uh, this is another area where we see this used potentially because you can simply just pull data from Magaya and use an extension uh, to uh, massage the data and output it in uh, nice uh, business intelligence. Uh, we Click and close uh, in a couple of seconds. All right, uh, let's and here is it looks like, like through a few other technical issues here. All right, now All right. we are good. So we need to be uh, if if you can't hear us, make sure you ask a question about it. We will we will. All right, excellent. Audio is good now. So it looks like dashboards and reports are winning um, the poll. All right, so let's go back to the presentation and see what's next. Okay, so just to mention a few more things out of the vast list of improvements in 11 uh, in the area of commerce. So if you're 
a customer that either buys and sells things or even a third party logistics provider that provides third party logistics for people that buy and sell things. Then we have um, introduced some more insight to our pricing rules and inventory pricing uh, in Magaya. There's a nice knowledge base article written about that. We're not going to show it today here because we will run out of time very quickly. We have introduced the concept of automatic reorder points. So if your inventory runs low, Magaya can now calculate based on seasonality and your forecasting um, what items to order and automatically create purchase orders uh, on a schedule. So you can approve them and send them out to uh, the vendor so you don't run under your minimum stock. And then finally, we have included several new carriers and uh, e-commerce channels to our e-commerce integration. So if you have customers or if you yourself are a wholesaler uh, that, that sell in any of these channels, we now have these and more. Actually, I see we don't have Etsy mentioned here that we already have and Squarespace and also USPS is now added. So that is the major improvement in our connectivity to e-commerce um, front end. So this is, again, this is something that in version 11 is a big plus that we are basically now saying that we're a full end-to-end e-commerce platform. Starting from someone placing the order online to you in your Magaya system, shipping it and the tracking number going back to the shopper um, in an email automatically. So you, so you can, with using Magaya now, do end-to-end e-commerce. Perfect. Now, regarding more cool stuff, Magaya Cloud, half of our new clients actually are on the cloud. And some of the feedback that we've gotten from that is, hey, can we use our local Outlook to send emails? The answer is yes, with version 11. At the same time, can I open an attachment from the cloud within my local software? Again, the answer is a big yes. And now you'll also be able to send attachments from local computers to the cloud. So it is a very big deal for the way you are working within our cloud to be able to use with that. So we're very excited about that. All right. And then this whole concept of online customer service. Um, to have another webinar on this. And it's right. not going to be included here. So those of you who came to this webinar to see the Light Track app, sorry to disappoint you. But what I wanted to explain was where this point number four, the Light Track app, actually what it is a, a peak off. So so what, what we see the online customer service process as you start with the portal. Okay. Many of you are using LiveTrack or giving LiveTrack access to your customers. Um, well, then your customers ask that they don't want to log in and browse through lists and, and look for the transaction. So we have the tracking option. Okay. You can customize tracking emails. We have made improvements to that in 11 as well. You can put the tracking widget on your website so they can come to your website and turn it into a customer service hub basically so that they can enter the tracking number or airway bill number there and get the transaction latest details and then finally we have now introduced an app that combines all of that that has the portal features and it also has the tracking features in one um, quick mobile app and this is what we're going to be showing along with some other things um, in the webinar about um, online customer service. So what do I mean by some other things? And when we were mentioning the new ecosystem, the new communication infrastructure of Magaya 11, one of the major improvements that we're achieving there is better performance of LiveTrack. So the most important list in LiveTrack, the most used list at least, is the WHR warehouse receipt list. Okay, and so with an actual customer database containing tens of thousands of warehouse receipts, we achieved 13 times better loading speed in the new list than in the old list. That's all possible because of the new uh, version 11 uh, communication infrastructure. Okay, so here we have um, the webinar Stop Losing Money on Customer Service. So it's what we call it, um, a little provocative. Um, the idea is that the idea is that uh, you know any phone call or email that shouldn't have happened because the customer should have actually gotten a tracking email or logged into the portal to see the status of what they're asking for or attach a document or anything like that uh, you know cost you money. The other new webinar that we have is the uh, freight quotes and rate management 
we completely revamped that part in the system uh, in version 11. And so basically, if you did quotes in Megaya before or rates, you should forget about it and relearn it because it is completely new and uh, improved in version 11. Correct. And the dates here, because I just said maybe the stop losing money yes, your customer have is October 10th at 3 p.m. So let's see if we can uh, make a quick change and, uh, huh? and make sure this works uh, a little bit better. And uh, the oh, other no. one will be October 24th at 3. So as you can see, uh okay I, I just give up actually yeah there <laughs> you, you go the right. first one does not have a date so, no we have that one uh that's like coming uh, later as well uh we, the, it's october 10th october 10th at 3 p.m yes all right uh so let's do I'll, I'll just show you a couple of uh of practical tips on how to get the most out of your version 11 uh, just because we wanted this uh, webinar also to have uh an interactive uh, side to it, so it's not just us talking. So let's start with a fun new app that we have, which is called Binder. Okay, so at this point, actually, I would like everyone to take out their phones. So yes, this is the first time, probably in history, when someone doing a presentation is asking you to be distracted and be on your phone, right? So let me see if I can connect my phone to the screen. All right, looks like I am connected. And let me open my camera. So open your phone camera. And let me go back to this PowerPoint here. Okay, so on your phone camera, do what I'm doing. Scan this barcode. Just, just point your camera at this barcode. And when it pops up a little notification at the top, just click there. And it should take you to the Apple or Google App Store, whatever your phone is, okay? If this barcode didn't work for some reason or if you're completely lost as in what is it doing right now, you can just open the way you would download any app and search by search for Binder or Magaya and you should get to this page and I'm going to download this app. And so we're going to have a little um, interactive exercise. I actually want you all to follow this. So let me let me open the questions tab. So you can type in the questions uh, area if if um, if uh, there's an issue with this or you're not seeing or you're not being able to follow right now. So on your phone, um, oh, it seems to be taking a while on mine. We're downloading the Binder app. So what is the Binder app, by the way? What does it do? Did we explain that? No. No? Okay, we're going to show. Could you start with the name? <laughs> yes. My favorite part. Oh, the name? Yeah, well, the name, Binder, um, Binder it's, it's uh, let me click open here. All right, it's uh, basically like a folder, like mm -hmm. you, like a, like a, like the folder, folder with the rings where you yeah. put all your documents. Uh -huh. Exactly. So how this relates to Magaya is that, you know, attachments in Magaya. It, they're hard to attach because you have to have them saved on your computer first, somehow with an old camera where you lost the cable and the battery broke and okay. it takes so much time to take all the photos of all the cargo or whatever you need to take photos of. So now we have this app called Binder that you can simply take the picture here or upload it from your phone gallery and it will attach to your Magaya transaction. So let's do this. So I have a, my, my, my demo database for this presentation running. Uh, the network ID that you're asking uh, that it's asking for is 31. Two six two. Okay, so if you do that and hit connect, you should get this message saying it found a company and it's called Magaya Demo. So this would be your network ID uh, if you're on version 11 and want to use Binder. Okay, so the username is Webinar. And again, this is only for this webinar. This would actually be your username that you use in in Magaya. Okay, and the password is. Magaya, there's this, actually it's all lowercase, uh, so don't so don't do the capital M. I'm sorry for that. It's password Magaya all lowercase, and I hit sign in. Okay, so I'm connected to my demo database in Binder. I hope uh, some of you are there as well. Uh, just just to recap, either scan this barcode or go to your app store to download Binder by Magaya. And when it's asking you to connect, use network ID. 31262, username webinar, and password all lowercase Magaya. 
Okay, so I created a warehouse receipt in my system. I'm going to hit actually this little looking glass at the top right, and I'm going to find this warehouse receipt that I'm that I created, and its number is webinar. So I try to be very simple here. Hit webinar and search. Uh -huh. Finder would like to access the camera. I will allow this because it is an essential function. So it found the warehouse receipt numbered webinar. If you look at the bottom of my screen, it's there. And so now I'm going to take a cargo, or a picture of the cargo on this warehouse receipt, right? So let me take one, maybe two. Take a picture of Jose. All right. And I'm going to hit done. So feel phone to my screen and let's go and look house receipt in Magaya. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm in my journal entries here. Warehouse receipts. Okay, this is my warehouse receipt webinar. Do I have any attachments? Oh, someone sent me, uh, someone attached the picture of their keyboard. I see someone's computer, I, uh, the calculator, yes. I hope no one, uh, I hope everybody kept it PG. This is the picture of Jose and the boxes that I took. We have another one participating that took a picture of an actual label. There you go. Good job, Cynthia. All right, so uh, feel free to, to uh, you know, play with this app. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you currently have about 100 pictures to try every month. Eventually, this will, you know, um, have a price to it. I think it's 10 cents a picture, which if you think about how much it costs to have some kind of um, um, a security, you know, insurance for, for, for example, taking photos of how you uh, pack a container or, or just how much it takes someone to, to upload and, and uh, a photo and then someone else to find the right transaction in Megaya to attach it to, it's it's a lot. So so the price will, for this will be 10 cents uh, per picture, but you do get um, for uh, currently 100 free to uh, try uh, this out uh, and your Megaya username and password will actually work. So the username is what you see here at the top uh, in the little parenthesis on your title bar and the password is your regular password. All right, so let's see if we have any more um, any more pictures committed? Oh, I see a lot of you are sending pictures. Okay. Okay, so someone sent... Someone's going overboard with that calculator. Well, it's an, maybe it's an important calculator, so it you need it very well documented. Very much okay. so. All right, so that was a picture of someone's screen showing my screen. That's like Inception, the, the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, right? And so we have more things here. A mouse. Aha, uh -huh, that vehicle. is a vehicle. Very, nice. Very good uh, use to this app as well. You yes. can actually, because this will not require Wi-Fi. You can be on your phone, on 3G, out on the lot. Uh, more of the mouse, more of the vehicle. Uh, and as you can see, you're using your phone camera. So the, so the quality of these pictures is actually better uh, than the handhelds. Oh, I will not share this. This might be actually... Uh, that's just the. Uh, that's a vehicle. That's a vehicle. That's a vehicle. All right, so let's uh, let's continue. Uh, this is a fun exercise, but let's uh, see what else we have here today. Actually, before this poll, I'm going to show you another uh, fun thing in Magaya. So Jose uh, was mentioning the uh, language login. So we have this here now. So in your Magaya login, you will have a new dropdown for language, so you can uh, you can control it right here. And also Jose mentioned the new documents. Okay, so how what we did with documents was three things. We made the standard documents pretty. Look how pretty this is. I did this on purpose. Beautiful. Uh, and by pretty, I mean we, we used you know some more modern design concepts, um, less clutter, and we made them also possible to edit easily. Okay. And then finally, we added a few new document types. So if you look at, for example, your quotations now, you have many new standard documents. You have uh, full container load documents. You have port to port documents, door to door ones. You have multi page documents, the ones that would include your terms and conditions. 
so we added new types of templates and as well we added the IATA 606 uh, labels which is a new standard that um, some people are already pushing there for for shipment labels okay okay so two things we want you to achieve with these new documents is your logo should work out of the box and it should be easy to edit your logo and your terms and conditions okay so I'm going to show that uh, real quick First step, how do I even get my logo in Magaya? This one we've had already a few uh, versions, right? You go to the configuration company and you hit browse and you upload a logo file. But now all your logo files may not be the same perfect square or rectangle. Uh, so here I used one that is a little uh, narrow. So what you will probably have to do is go and resize the logo a little bit so it will uh, appear nice so i will go step one select my template so let's say i i select this fcl multi-page one and i hit copy so i create my own version of this template okay and now it's still our good old document designer but all the elements now move freely there's no embedded backgrounds and this one the logo file it um the it it is indented or what is it called um, um aligned sorry to top and left so for example if i had this magaya logo at the top there if i move this a little bit here and it always resizes with uh by keeping the aspect ratios so if i make it a little bigger move it a little lower hit save and see how it would look in my in my magaya okay created a copy so i have to open this again Got a download no, it's in my local. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. All right, so you see now it shows up in the center nicely, not at the top as before. And another thing that I can do is we added a second page. If you click on the page templates here, for some of these quote templates, and we put just a placeholder text for um, terms and conditions, which I can, uh, you know, delete, and I can add my own terms and conditions here, um, format it however I want to, so that it prints those two pages automatically. You can actually keep adding more pages. The multi-page functionality we've also had already since version 10.6. Right. All right, so let me close this document. That was a good, um, easy change to remove or to move and resize the logo a little bit. And now let's go to the final hands-on uh, part of this webinar is the new import. Okay, some of you use this feature here, importing items into warehouse receipts. If you have large warehouse receipts and uh, so far what you have to do is import all the boxes separately and then go and repack right. them into pallets or containers uh, as needed. So now I have an import file here that looks something like this, just a CSV file. where the file looks like this, contained lines. I put how many lines it's contained. There's a manual for this, by the way. So it's not, uh, it's, you should not have to remember this now. How many pieces of pallets I have and how many contained pieces I have and some description for it. And additional columns that I omitted now, so just to keep it simple. Okay, so I, let me finish and save this new warehouse receipt and we can look at the commodities with one import. What I created now was a pallet and inside a pallet I have two boxes. So uh, this was previously impossible. This same kind of logic also applies. I can import now uh, compound items and kits um, in one CSV import. Okay, so these were a few practical tips. Let's also, let's get interactive again. You should see a little poll popping up. All right. So, are you interested in a new warehousing app that works with the Magaya cargo system? Remember, most of you are on the actual Magaya cargo system itself, okay? Uh, right now, the, I guess, warehousing mo uh, mobile is on the supply chain or the, just a simple WMS. So, we want to ask you, do you want to use a web application or an app on your phone to be able to use these warehousing uh, functions from the cargo system? 
All right. Yeah. So so uh, we are basically uh, Windows is is basically deprecating the technology that uh, works on those bulky warehouse handhelds. Um, that means and that, that means we need to catch up. <laughs> and that that specific operating system is no longer going to be supporting. Correct. Yeah. And manufacturers are already moving to Android um, for the WMS handhelds. But also, we want all your um, all your uh, phones to work. Although maybe a, you know, cell phone isn't quite as rugged as you'd need, but you know, there are cases, etc. So we're building a new app to replace eventually our WMS mobile. And one of the key criteria is that we want it to work with Magaya Cargo System. So the options here: um, Are you interested in such app? Great. Um, want to give input and possibly try a prototype. So this is, I hope all of you will, will uh, choose that option because that's how we're you know, building our products nowadays is that before we write code, we want to get input from actual users. And um, so it would be great if anyone who hits yes there, I will contact them personally, I promise. Okay, then interesting, but I don't see myself using any apps in warehouse. It looks like there's a, a cutoff there. And then I don't operate a warehouse or or lot for vehicles. So obviously, if, if you don't have a warehouse, you will not have use for a warehousing app. Okay. Um, so I'm going to close this poll in a matter of seconds. We have 60% uh, uh, of you already um, already answered. All right. So let's give it another 10 seconds. Let's another 10 seconds. Work. Okay. Again, I will I will uh, give a little spoiler. This will, this will actually come in into the webinar, but um, we're planning to build this app uh, next year. We're we're in the design phases and and uh, getting feedback from um, potential users. Uh, and also another thing that we're planning is that this could work in parallel if you already have the WMS mobile by Magaya. This could work in parallel until you're ready to switch over because we've been adding we, we will be adding functionality little by little initially will maybe only work for uh receiving and taking pictures uh then getting the pick pack option there uh and then finally you know getting everything in there like counts uh, and such okay so let's close this poll all right and let's share the results Thank you. A lot of you are interested in this app and uh, would like to uh, give feedback and maybe maybe try out a prototype if we build one early. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's go back to our presentation. And well, this is the part that I kind of skipped forward to. What we are planning um, for the future. Okay. So for near near term future. Okay. This time I will figure out this this slide. There you go, fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going great. I should actually Facebook. have a design yeah, I job. Fixed it. Yes, job. I fixed it. Yes. Okay, so we have a another webinar coming up on the online customer service. So there we will talk about live track tracking the live track app. Um, actually, Magaya Insurance is going to um, have a little part there. Uh, how you can provide insurance for your customers if you want to and introduce the new portal that we have for insurance and then um, the next webinar is about the quotes and rates uh, specifically so this is going to be very technical detailed uh, i expect this to be for customers who are currently using quotes or who haven't been using quotes or rates in magaya because they find it not powerful enough so so this is this is going to be um, the yeah, this is going to be specifically for that. All right. And then for midterm future, let's say the rest of this year, we actually are going to have two smaller sub releases of 11 already out there. Uh, these weeks we are finishing already programming for 11.1 .1 and 11.2 will drop around year end uh, with um, more updates but it's not going to be nearly the size of 11 um, which took us longer okay long-term future actually hopefully prototype ready by early next year and the product fully developed throughout next year 
Magaya is building our own ABI portal. So those of you that do imports, that do customs brokerage, we're going to have a web portal that is integrated with your Magaya system or that can be used independently for that matter. Uh, so if you have a friend who's a customs broker but not, or you have a uh, hired customs broker who is not um, using Magaya, we want it to be an independent product with the um, option to integrate to Magaya out of the box. So it would take all the information you have uh, on your shipment in Magaya and pre-fill as many fields as possible, but it will be, um, and, and it will be sending customs messages back to Magaya, so your customers can see them in live track. So it's going to be fully integrated to our ecosystem, but an independent uh, new ABI product. That's a game changer. Yes, honestly, because a lot of you are using a separate uh, third party to be able to do that. So you're using Magaya for your day-to-day -day cargo, and then you have to go somewhere else to do that. Imagine having being able to do that on one system, just in Magaya, not having to go anywhere else. So this is, to me, it's a very big important, especially to those of you who are doing your, your uh, customs brokerage outside uh, or your ABI outside of Magaya right now. Yep, absolutely. And then, as already mentioned, the new uh, warehouse management app to work also with Cargo System and to be on Android and iOS devices um, so that it's easier to maintain and develop new features for. Okay, uh, this actually concludes our, our presentation today. We, we didn't want to go over an hour. We still have 10 minutes left uh, for questions. So I see there have been quite a few actually. So let's, let's start. Let me try to make this part bigger here so we see more questions. Okay. All right, so. First question um, was, can we up, update already to 11? So technically, yes, um, it's up there. It's been it's been released um, since about a few about weeks a week. ago. About yeah, about a week and actually, we can change. Yes, um, and and we had a we had a few customers actually around 20 who were piloting it early, and but right now we already have quite a few large customers on this. Um, and it's been very stable. We found one or two issues that we've, you know, fixed and published an update quickly. So for those of you that, you know, have, have been with Magaya for years that have large databases that are maybe a little careful about should I update already or should I just, help, you know, uh, wait for a few more early adopters to jump on board? Well, already over 200 have done it. So so it, so it was, we feel like we're in a pretty good state. So yes, it's available in online update if you're in doubt. Discuss with uh, with our tech support or QA about your special concerns. You know, you might have many customizations to the system, um, etc. Or if you felt like you've had um, uh, issues with with updates before, let's talk. But uh, we we all in all we feel very confident that this is going to be another good and stable uh, release like 10.6 was. All right, uh, we have a. Um, uh, compliment here for Jose. Thank you, Jordi. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is. Then we have more questions. Okay, so we 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 had questions uh, about the internet connection. Yes, we are a software company that apparently struggles with technology. Okay, and let's see. We turned off the camera, so then it got better. All right. Okay, so the question is, do you have to pay for API calls and extensions? No, we, wait, actually, the API, I will have to get back to you, uh, Osniel, with this one, because I, I know it might be dependent on, the, li the licensing and pricing on the extensions might be dependent on uh, what type of transaction. transaction. If it's right, uh, it might be yes. If it's just a read transaction, then no. Uh, if you just want to read from Magaya database um, one way, but if you want to write or update, um, then you, it might uh, I might get, have to get back to you on this one. All right. 
Okay, we did have some uh, technical difficulties today. We apologize for that. There are a few people that have uh, used uh, questions to express that. Okay, uh, we have again customs. Uh, this was the first poll. We had uh, people asking. Um, okay, so is there a, is there a direct question to the Mag uh, direct connection to Magaya database, like an ODBC, for example? Right now, no, because we're using a proprietary database that only our front end can talk to. But um, we are building testing internally already uh, in an SQL based database that you would be able to write queries to uh, directly. That is, you know, in the next um, year or two, we should have it released uh, for like really large databases and, and um, uh, people that like to work with SQL. It would be Postgres SQL, not Microsoft. All right. Uh, does Magaya charge per transaction through the Binder app? Yes, so it is uh, 10 cents, which is the same price as if you are using our um, IP cameras uh, that are stationary up cameras in your warehouse up to five uh, pictures at a time. If you are using those already, then, then you know this price already. Um, and again, uh, for now we have 100 pictures free uh, for you to try. Um, and you can get 100 more next month, et cetera, et cetera. But once you sign up for the pay plan, it is going to be uh, 10 cents per picture added to your to your um, monthly bill. Uh, the login you would use for Binder uh, is your. Uh, there's a question here. Is your regular Magaya login, not your not your Magaya Cloud username? But I'm suspecting that most of you use like the employee first name last name or or employee name, uh, such as administrator or or John Smith uh, in your Magaya login. So for Binder login, it will specifically be a username, which is a separate field. So it's not your name, it's your username. It's a separate field on your employee record in Magaya. And it also shows on a title bar of Magaya 11 at the very end in, in parentheses. So that and your regular password. Uh, does Binder work with iPad or just iPhone and uh, Android phones? For now, we this is the first release of Finder. We're still adding functionality. We have, for example, in the backlog to allow uploading PDFs and other uh, document formats from your phone uh, file system or gallery. Right now, it only allows uh, photos. So we have this feature in the backlog. And one of the next uh, releases is going to also be an, a tablet version of Finder. But for now, it's only uh, for phones. Right. You know, the feedback that clients gave us would be a lot easier if it was on the phone because every one of their uh, employees have smartphones. So that's why we did it this way, first iteration of that. Yep. Okay. Uh, is there a cap for binder pictures? Um, no, actually, uh, we don't. We currently haven't introduced that. If you have any, uh, you know, special uh, deals or ideas in mind, like if you're going to seriously take 100,000 pictures and you have the, the hard drive to fit those um and you you know talk to us let's see let's see how this works out because again this is the first release of this app um but for now the only uh, pricing structure there is that it's just 10 cents per picture right the idea is to be able to look at the transactions that you have and be able to go from there okay Were your current custom uh, documents working on version 11? The answer is yes. Yes. So what we did with the new documents is is it will download. When, once you get to 11, it will download these additional um, new standard documents. All your old ones will still be there, and even the old standard documents will still be there. Uh, so they're, they're, we're not replacing, we're adding uh, the new document templates. That's a good question. And so if you want to move your custom made documents, custom made documents to the new uh, backgrounds with the help of our, our uh, implementation, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, but we'll, we'll, maybe we'll post a, like a video on that, um, how to just only apply the design, but keep the functionality of your old, uh, you know, JavaScript customizations, etc. cetera. Uh, question, where do I get the document templates? Um, if you uh, update to 11, they will, be there. You have to update yes. to version 11. That's correct. And even if you download it them separately uh, before, they will only work with 11. So uh, when you're 11, you will have them there. All right. 
Okay, then we get a, we got some feedback here that we shouldn't make jokes. Uh, thank you, Marie. Literally, uh, sorry. Yes, we were already being very funny. We apologize. Okay, and uh, for the ABI, uh, if you want to, if you're interested in ABI project and, and you similarly would like to, to give input or, or uh, feedback to it, uh, please let us know. There was uh, actually a while ago, there was a, a link on Magaya uh, page one to sign up for a, for a mailing list for uh, the ABI um, news or kind of like updates. So, so we, can, we can add that uh, link again to the webinar follow-up. So, so if you want to sign up for, for ABI um, updates, we'll include you. Okay, um, question again, how safe is it to update if I've had some custom documents before that haven't worked with the new version? Um, if you have, sometimes it happens that when you add a new version, new fields, um, that some, some things in the, in the customization may not talk to the new version very well. Uh, it's, in these cases, we encourage you to, to, to try it out, to test. You can, you can contact us, we can see how you could you know, download uh, Magai 11, install it separately somewhere, uh, pull your new documents or all documents there and see if they, if they, if they work. So uh, better safe than sorry, of course, although we're, we are confident that 11 is very solid already. Uh, question, can we use Magaya software in the cloud, on phone and computer? Uh, yes, this demo I did, I was, using, uh, I was using a cloud installation and then you saw my finder work. So if, you really think, if you're thinking about the new apps, if they work also with cloud installations, then yes. Now if your question is, can you use the Magaya system from your phone, that is not available. Okay, question, that's a very good question. Is there a manual for this update? Well, we have our knowledge base, and actually, the one of the top articles in the knowledge base, if you go to the home page right now, is version 11 new features. So yes, we have a long article with links and screenshots on the new uh, features of version 11. Good question. Uh, question when this Magaya uh, SQL based database will happen or when will there be access? Uh, this is something that we're internally building and testing now. Um, next year we foresee that it should be uh, functional uh, to, to, to test and try out. Of course the, the final final production which is you know something where where your uh, existing database could be very easily converted without us being involved that's something that will um, will take a little longer, but if you're interested in being part of trying this, um, let us know. Uh, that's also a project where we will at some point need a lot of user input. Okay, so when is the quotes and rates webinar? That is going to be October 24th, right? Yes, October 24th uh, and at 3 p.m. Uh, in the webinar follow-up email here, we will have a link to, to register for the next webinars as well. Mm -hmm. All right, then a uh, question is, as if developers start building custom extensions, will we be able to freely download and use them similar to an app store? Uh, will custom extensions have a rating system? So I would say eventually yes. But at first, uh, you know, since we just developed the, the, the technology, we are going to um, have to verify each of them one by one. And, and even to get the documentation, you will still have to um, contact Magaya and be in contact with one of our uh, in-house developers here. Uh, but eventually we do foresee an environment where you can download the documentation, uh, get your API keys, have a test environment and, and uh, yes, publish and rate uh, them. Okay, a question about, again, where I can find information about these new features. So there is the knowledge base article in the background, knowledge.magaya.com, and also in your page one in Magaya, you will have um, 
release notes section, which contains a long PDF document uh, release uh, with uh, detailing the release notes. Okay, question about uh, Windows Server version for upgrading to 11. That is actually a very good uh, question. We did drop support for some old technologies like Windows XP and Windows Server. I have to say 2008 service pack one. Uh, so we there is a if you go to the knowledge base actually here I am here already and you look for system requirements that is the article that details uh, uh, what you should have hardware and software wise to run Magaya and this has been uh, updated. We have the hardware compatibility here. Okay, so we have some somewhere we have a system requirements article in the knowledge base. I am going to find that and send that later to you, Jose Alexis. Okay. A question with the quota about the quotations. Is it going to be more in the direction of a CRM? Um, we have some CRM features that we have included with the new documentations, like. Um, like generating a lead instead of a customer. So you don't have to now save all the contacts that you want to quote uh, freight for uh, as customers in the system anymore. So the, so the lead entity is, a, is a something new. Um, we have the you know, email notifications, but in terms of, let's say like pipeline reports and things like that, the CRM offers, we're, we're still you know, adding them little by little. Eventually we do foresee us getting to um, a, a, a full CRM level for logistics. Some fields to be able to actually get some of that. What is the next visit time? All of that. All right. So we are running out of time here. Uh, there were a few questions that uh, we didn't have time to answer. Um, one that I want to answer is, is there a cost to upgrade to 11? No, uh, it is your, a part of your license agreement. You always get the new um, new presentation, uh, sorry, new versions. A uh, question is this presentation or, or uh, this video is going to be available? Yes, uh, look for the follow-up email. Um, and, and that's about it. We have a few more questions, but uh, uh, for those that we didn't respond here, we will get back to by email. We we have a record of all these questions. Uh, thank you for your, for your interest and and uh, it's it's been great. And sorry for the final reminder. This slide. Let's go. Let's register for these upcoming webinars. You will also have a link in um, the follow up. Okay.